Boy, we're going to be having some fun today. We're going to be taking a look at the mighty sow catcher from Odin Wolf. Stick around. I get really stoked when knife companies reach out to me, especially knife companies that have been putting out blades that I've been looking at for a while and thinking to myself, man, that's really stylish. It looks like good stuff. That being said, I'm really excited to get an opportunity to review this bad boy right here. That's a big clucking knife right there, my friend. And on this particular model, they're rocking the D2 steel. This fat mama jama is 14.2 inches in length with an 8.7 inch blade that's sure to make the enemy run. We got us a five and a half inch handle here with a rubber texturized grip. Now we got us a beautiful polypropylene sheath here. Now I'm with Grugs out there at Legional Tactical Cutlery. Uh, it is a little bit loose up at the top, but you can make some modifications on that. I enjoyed the snot out of his review. He did a whole lot with it. He did a lot of things I probably won't do in this review in particular because my angle is going to be a little bit different, but I want to drop a link to his review in my review. And I guess, Grugs, we can say that I'm tag teaming you a little bit, buddy. Y'all go out and check out Legion Tactical Cutlery. If you love blades, you got to be subscribed to that channel. I am going to do some testing in this video, including a very good, long, satisfying session of jug killing. Now let's do a little talk before we get into some action. Tell me that's not beautiful. You know, it comes in assorted colors as well, as far as the handle and the blade is concerned. You can go with a, a, a dark blade, a black blade, and maybe an orange handle, some other kinds as well. Now, when we talk about the uses of this knife, you can do whatever you want to with it. It's marketed very much as an outdoor knife but I just kind of see it as an everything knife. This thing is a dagger. It's a double edge. And man, you don't want no part of anybody holding this blade. Now this comes with a razor sharp edge here on this D2 steel blade. And this is very much marketed for having, you know, some durability for a lot of high impact activities. I think you'll find that this has a good weight to it, but it's not too heavy at all. And maybe you won't, and maybe you will chop with this blade. You could very much use it as a machete, you know, just navigating through the woods. But let's chop this tree right here. I'm going to end up needing this stick, so I'm going to take it about right here. That's sharp, man. So hard-hitting and super sharp. Batoning is also a little bit different with a double edge. You know, you end up cutting into the stick you're using to baton with, but you can do some batoning with it. You just have to kind of guide it carefully. I'm just not a fan of batoning with this because in order to send one side of the blade through an object, I've got to tap the blade on the other side, making it more dull. So let's talk fighting. I mean, what's it missing? It's got a double edge, an ergonomic handle. It's got reach. It's got power. Man, it's practically like a little sword. There's no need to do no paper cutting and arm shaving stuff with this blade man it's already like super duper sharp it just went through that big stick like it was nothing watch what it does to these water bottles a little bit later on besides i've already shaved enough stuff on my body with knife reviews i mean that's why i don't have any hair right now i just kept having to shave my head and eventually all my hair was gone i'm kidding <laughs> i'm only doing this because i know some of you want to see it Ooh, you don't want that flying at you buddy Great for rotational throwing. I do not recommend a lot of no spin throwing with it. It's just because of the way it's balanced. Do beware though, there's no torture test like throwing it over time. With a blade this big and sharp, we gotta do some jug killing. Let's roll. glad you came to a 411 Outdoors review concerning this knife because I have a discount code for you that I'm going to be dropping in the description. And you can use that discount out there for any Odin Wolf knife that you may like. In fact, I reviewed their Wolf 1 
maybe a couple of months ago. I really, really liked it. They just handle well and their knives look really nice. They're made well. And I'm really excited that they have brought this one to the table with D2. A lot of times, you know, people are just looking for something that's inexpensive, but tough and reliable. As always, I wanna thank all of my subscribers for your love and support. And I wanna thank all the new visitors for joining as well. If you have found this content helpful and resourceful, I'd be honored to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do you have this blade? Do you like Odin Wolf knives? What is your experience with those knives? I'd love to hear from you. Take care.